Hi everyone, this is Linda and um, this is my very first video on YouTube. Yay! Um, I thought actually what happened today that um, I caught two common clothes moths um, and I thought I would let you know and show you how to identify these moths because I think there are many people who live with misconceptions about moths. Um, about 99% of moths are really important pollinators and they are all declining uh, throughout the globe so it's really important to to conserve these species and protect these um, so there are so many people I know who if they see a moth inside they will kill them because they think they are going to you know eat their clothes or the grain or the flower or whatever and actually there are only a handful of species which do it and um, it's really important to tell these apart um, and um, yeah so able to at least sort of uh, sort of identify it so you can decide if you see a moth which one to get rid of and which one to rather just let outside and be as it is and let them do what they do pollinate the flowers for our fruit, what we eat and whatever. So um, yes, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do now. So these are the two moths I caught today. Um, really, really small moths. Um, I've got little tubes for handling moths. And yeah, you can see how small it is. So let's just put my finger there next to it. So you can see how small they are. So obviously if you find a bigger moth then it's most likely not going to be a pest moth. So don't get rid of those, don't kill them. Um, so yeah, one thing about this moth is that um, it's quite greyish. It's very, very, very um, plain looking. There are no markings, almost no colour on it. Nothing really interesting, to be honest, comparing to many, many other moths, even the micro moths. So they are about five, seven millimeters long, a very common species, as we know. Um, their head is yellow or brown or reddish yellow. I don't know if you can see that. I think, yeah, you should be able to see that, that the head is definitely not black or white. It's rather reddish yellow or brown. Um, the forewing is pale golden. You can see it, that it's, yeah, that's absolutely can be seen from here. And um, it's it can be sometimes darker at the base, but not necessarily. And it is very glossy and glossy as you see. So yes, it's definitely a common clothes moth. It is a continuously brooded species. Um, the books say it's rather from February to September and it's now end of January. Um, that's absolutely fine because they they are basically uh, living indoors so they can pop up any time of the year to be honest. They are rather active in late afternoon um, but again they can pop up any time of the day um, and they can rather they rather prefer to run um, and they don't really like flying when you disturb them. I don't know if I can show you that actually on the other one. This is a slightly smaller one. See, it's rather running. It, it doesn't really want to fly away. So yeah, it's running like hell to be honest. Right. Um, so yeah, they are eating all sorts of things. Most of the time it's animal based, so it's wool or um, feathers, fur, hair. So, for example, what I do here, I do keep a lot of feathers inside just for <laughs> entertaining myself. And um, they definitely feed on, the, on those. Um, yeah, so that's it. So if you see these little things, yes, you can get rid of these. Um, I can also show you um, the book 
I used for identifying this um, and how it looks like in the book. So that is the common clothes moth in the book. So yeah, pretty much what we saw in the tubes. And yeah, this is the book I use for identifying micro moths. So I can just strongly recommend that if you are thinking about, you know, not just identifying a clothes moth, but identifying other moths. Um, this is a very good book. So, yes, so that is it. Thank you for listening to me and I hope it was useful for you to identify pest moths from rather uh, more valuable moths. So, thank you. Goodbye.